In this video, I'm talking about initial hearing aid sound quality and why it shouldn't be a consideration when you're picking your next set of hearing aids. Coming up. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, doctor of audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Anthem, Arizona. And on this channel, I cover a bunch of hearing related information to help make you a better informed consumer. So if you're into that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell to receive a notification every time I release a new video. Chances are when you're being fit with a new set of hearing aids, your hearing care professional will ask you how they sound. This is because they're looking for your initial perception of sound quality. But what if I told you that it would be a huge mistake to let the initial sound quality of a device help you make a determination on if those hearing aids are right for you? That's why I believe there are four main reasons why you don't want to focus on initial sound quality in a hearing aid, and reason number one is that all major brands of hearing aids have really good sound quality. Now if you're wondering if one of these hearing aid manufacturers has better sound quality than the rest, the answer is no. There has been a bunch of research on this to determine which hearing aid manufacturer produces the best sound quality, and if you grab a handful of research articles, you'll see that each article would indicate that basically a different company has better sound quality. There is no general consensus on this, and there is research that is all over the board indicating that there really is no manufacturer that is consistently ranking at the top of sound quality. So as long as you select a hearing aid from a reputable manufacturer, the chances are is that that hearing aid will have the capability of providing really good sound quality. Reason number two is that perceived initial sound quality often indicates that those hearing aids aren't programmed correctly. Hearing aid manufacturers have one main goal, and that is to get you to wear their hearing aids. But they do this at a cost, and that cost is often speech understanding. All hearing aid manufacturers have a first fit algorithm that will estimate the level of amplification that you need at each particular frequency range. However, all of these first fit algorithms will reduce the amount of amplification that you receive in the high frequencies. They do this to give you a better initial sound quality when you're being first fit with those devices. The problem with this is that all these high frequencies that are being reduced from the amplification is going to cost you speech understanding because that is where the consonant sounds that give you clarity to speech reside. Take a look at this prescription verification using real ear measurement. This illustrates how the amplification of a hearing aid using manufacturer first fit estimates do not meet the prescriptive targets for an individual's hearing loss. The purple hash mark line indicates the amplification required at each frequency to achieve maximum audibility. Low frequencies are on the left, mid frequencies are in the middle, and high frequencies are on the right. What you want to have happen is have the solid lines, which is the amount of sound coming out of the hearing aid, to overlap with this hash mark line. The purple solid line indicates a hearing aid at the manufacturer's first fit estimate. As you can see, it falls short of the purple hash mark line, which would indicate an under amplification of this hearing aid, particularly in the high frequencies, to give the perception of better sound quality. The solid pink line, on the other hand, most of which you cannot see because it is overlapping the prescriptive hash mark line, illustrates the same hearing aid programmed correctly for this person's hearing loss to maximize speech understanding. If your hearing care professional sends you out of the office with these first fit settings from the hearing aid manufacturer, the chances are is that your sound quality will be good, but your speech understanding will not be where it should be. Reason number three is that your brain will end up adapting to the sound quality of whatever hearing aid you end up wearing. It is widely accepted that hearing aid users need to adapt to the proper level of amplification from their hearing aids. So if your hearing care professional is programming your hearing aids correctly up to your prescriptive targets, then you may not actually like the way that those hearing aids sound initially. Your brain just isn't ready for them. But over time, not only will you begin to actually appreciate the level of amplification that you're getting, you'll actually end up preferring it. And the fourth reason that you shouldn't rely on initial sound quality when picking a hearing aid is that you could be foregoing other features that are even more important. Since you'll prefer the sound quality of whatever devices you end up picking anyway, you don't want to miss out on other features that would provide you additional benefit because you put too much weight on the initial sound quality of a particular device. When I say features, I'm talking about things like a telecoil or rechargeability or connectivity with other Bluetooth devices. Each one of these different features that are available with different hearing aid brands could have a major impact on your performance. 
At the end of the day, if you place too much importance on initial sound quality with a hearing aid, you could be setting yourself up for subpar speech understanding with a device that ultimately doesn't meet your needs. Instead, focus on the features that are most important to you and spend your time finding a hearing care provider who does the programming the right way using real ear measurement. Now, if you don't know what real ear measurement is, I highly recommend you watch my video that I will link in the card up here and in the description below. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it. And if you want to see other videos just like this one, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.